Which mining pool is the most profitable to mine Bitcoin to? Let's put a few to the test. What's going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, there's boatloads of crypto mining pools out there that tout that they're the best and the most profitable and that you can make the most Bitcoin mining to their pool. Well, today we're gonna put that to the test. So it's always been a challenge to really test out which pool pays out the most Bitcoin because you really need to have a few miners that are identical in every single way. You have to start those miners at the exact same time and then you have to let them run for a period of time and then kind of put them up against each other. And that's always been a challenge because I've never had three Bitcoin miners. I mean, who has three Bitcoin miners anyway, at least that are even identical. So we got a little surprise. I have three Bitmain Antminer S19J Pros that are 100 terahash. I actually bought two more not too long ago just for the purpose of doing this test. And that's exactly what we're gonna do today. So let's introduce the pools that we're gonna be testing out our three S19J Pros on. All right, so the first pool up in our test that we'll be running on miner number one is F2 pool. Miner number two will be nice hash and miner number three is a newcomer to the arena just broke out more recently with their os and that is luxor all right so now that you know the test we're running how many days we ran that what hardware we're using and what pools we're mining to i'd love to hear from you guys so pause the video and leave a comment down below before hey, you kind of listen. look ahead which mining pool just as a hunch as a guess do you believe will be the king, at least of this round, we're gonna do multiple rounds, but will be the king or crowned the best or the most profitable or that we earn the most Bitcoin from? Is it going to be F2 pool? Is it going to be nice hash or is it going to be Luxor? Leave a comment down below now. All right, so let's head out to the shed and look at our competitors. All right, guys, let's head out to our crypto mining shed and take a look at our mining competitors today. If you guys haven't seen, this is our home crypto mining shed intake wall. We have a boar's hair filters in there. We have 150 amps running into the shed, two ethernet cables as well. Got some lights and security cameras in here. And then we got plenty of exhaust as you guys can see. All right, let's head inside. All right, guys, we're inside our crypto mining shed here. If you guys are new to the channel, I have a full playlist on the entire build, setup, and game plan for the crypto mining shed, full of GPU rigs, full-size ASICs, and then some mid-size ASICs there. Our intake wall here, this is where we have that boar's hair air filters. We're actually gonna be getting ready to clean these. Look, you start to see the pollen starting to build up. So right now, it's actually not bad outside. It's about 70, but it is after 7 p.m. Eastern. And then our intake side, 79. And if we look on the exhaust side here, we have one exhaust fan there, another one there. They're a little over 50% and 98 Fahrenheit, which they're doing just fine. So let's take a look at our three competitors. We have three S19J Pros that have been going through this, we'll call it a race or competition, over the last seven days. The first one here is this S19J Pro, 100 terahash unit. This is Bitmain. This guy right here is on nice hash as our first pool. Our second ASIC and pool that we're on, 100 terahash as well, is F2 pool. And let's take a look at our third one which is actually down here, a little bit different of an airflow setup. Intake coming in from outside, going through an air intake filter box, running along into an inline fan that does 800 CFM to a shroud system, no fans on the ASIC, and another S19J Pro right there, 100 terahash. That unit is on Luxor. So, we have three S19J Pros. They've all been mining exactly at the same time. They're all 100 terahash. However, we do have them all on the Bitmain firmware 
end, they are actually running on Bitmain's low power mode. So let's go ahead inside. We'll talk a little bit more about this seven day competition we've been running as well as take a look at the results. All right, so let's take a closer look at what we're mining with here. So once again, these are the Bitmain Antminer S19J Pro Series. These have been out for a few years now. Um, and you can actually see here that this is the 100 terahash unit. All three of the units that we are testing out today are the 100 terahash unit. And these things have really come down in price. Now, this is the 96 terahash unit. Here is the 100, ter 100 terahash. So it's a little bit more around $1,700, at least over on ASIC Marketplace. But man, under two grand for a Bitcoin miner that's around 100 terahash, that is awesome. So if you're looking for some stats here, let's go ahead and scroll down. So you can actually see it was actually released back in 2021. So we're two years actually, because it is June 7th. So we are right at that two year mark. Actually look at that. So if you're interested, we said 100 terahash if you're running at full bore, you can overclock these units if you use different um, operating systems out there. You could use Brains or you could use Luxor's OS to go ahead and overclock these if interested. Now, factory, these units use 3,050 watts. It's no joke, it's a lot. So running these in a low hash rate mode definitely takes that down significantly. And you get a nice savings of several hundred watts and you only lose out on a little bit. I think when we get into our testing, you'll see here, we go from about 100 terahash down to about 76, 77, which is still super respectable for the amount of watts. It actually works out really, really well. If you guys want more details on this unit, and I can't guarantee the price here, because prices change based off of Bitcoin's price. We see that fluctuating a lot. I'll leave a link to ASIC Marketplace down below to this exact 100 terahash unit that I have three of those with. All right, so over on Bitmain site, something else that I wanted to show you guys was the low power mode. So back here on December 29th, actually of 2022, uh, Bitmain released this low power mode. I mean, everybody was hoping for it. They finally came out. It came out for the S19J Pro Series pretty early on, and I was super thrilled about it. And you can see here, it has listed in this firmware. So make sure if you guys have an S19J that you go out and upgrade your firmware if you haven't. Supports low power mode. Please make sure the miner type and firmware type are the same before upgrading. Super, super important. You don't want to brick or mess anything up. I will leave a link to this firmware directly down below. And I also have a full video on the S19J Pro and how it performs on the low power mode. So if you're interested in doing it, I actually show you how to do that as well as give you some metrics regarding hash rate and also the watt. All right, it's time to look at the results. Today, once again, we're looking at comparing F2 pool to Luxor's pool and finally to NiceHash. So let's find out which of the three pools is the most profitable to mine Bitcoin on? All right, so let's dive into it. I got lots to go over here. I will leave a link directly down below to the spreadsheet if you're interested. Now, this was a seven day test. I am looking forward to doing this on a 30 day test as well. So we'll check back in at about 30 days and see if the results stay the same. So you can see here, we started our test on the 30th of May going through the 5th of June. So just wrap this up the other day. We have three separate columns, nice hash, Luxor and F2 pool. And I recorded the amount of Bitcoin mined per day and gave it a few days before and after to make sure any pending amounts were paid out directly on those days for mining. So as you guys can see, we have each of the amounts listed per day for each pool. Well, some interesting information I found. On the far right hand side, you guys can see daily most BTC mined. And that's just on that day. So let's take the 30th here, which we're right here on the fifth, which pool mined the most Bitcoin. And I'll be honest, I was super surprised to find that nice hash won out every single day. Every day in the seven day test, they were the most profitable. They, you, we mined the most every single day on nice hash. And if we take a look at our totals, you can see the totals down below here on row 13, you can see like nice hash just rounding was 0 0.0015. And then Luxor was 0 0.0014, one, three. And then finally F2 pool was zero or point 
0.001410. And to give you guys some ideas on percentages, so with nice hash being the most, we're gonna put that at 100%. Luxor only mined 93.87 Bitcoin compared to nice hash. And even lower was F2 pool at 93.67%. So you're losing out on like just around under 7% Bitcoin mining to Luxor and F2 pool versus nice hash. And that's actually what I found across the three. Now, taking a look at some hash rate numbers, if you're interested, nice hash is average. So the S19J Pro that we had on nice hash on the minor level had an average of 78.66 terahash. And then looking on the pool side, the pool was reporting 77.66. And you might say, well, why is that important? Well, let's look at some of these other numbers here because Luxor and the F2 pool miners and pool side reported just around the same. If not, F2 pool actually reported a little bit more. So it didn't come down to hash rate here. Luxor on the miner that was mining to Luxor was 78.38 and on the pool side was 77.48, F2 pool 78.42, and on the pool side 79.58, so significantly more. Now, keep in mind these numbers are lower because we are on the low power mode here. Jumping down below, if we took just averages, what did these guys do per day when it came down to an average? This is why one did better than the other. So on a seven day average, nice hash, of course, did significantly more at that 000215 and then you had luxor at 00201 and then finally you had f2 pool at the 201 but at four so a little bit more there so at the end of the day guys when we take a look at our testing if we need to crown first second and third when it comes down to what is the most profitable for bitcoin out of these three pools it comes in at nice hash in first place it comes in at luxor in second place and unfortunately f2 pool in third place all right so i gotta ask were you surprised by the results i know i was i expected them to be a little bit closer than having almost a seven percent difference in the amount of profitability between nice hash and these other pools i didn't think it would be that staggering now i am going to do the same exact reporting for 30 days total and we're going to check back in at 30 days and see did nice hash went out for 30 straight days or how do these other pools compare now i'm not committed to one pool versus another at the end of the day as a miner i just care about whatever i can earn the most bitcoin on i don't have any favoritism here if one's more more profitable than the other, that's where I'm going. So guys, I wanna know after 30 days, I wanna continue doing this testing. I have these three miners for this reason. So what pools do you wanna see me do this head-to-head -head testing with? A fun thing I thought about doing was like keeping the most profitable pool in the test. So like right now it's looking like nice hash, we'll see. After 30 days though, we'll find out. And then adding in two at a time and almost keeping like the, the top contender in through all these different tests to see like, you know, it's kind of like an Ironman to see if it can stay in there and how it can compete. So leave a comment down below. There's boatloads of pools out there. So I'd love your input. I'm doing this not only for myself, but for you guys as well. So leave a comment directly down below. Well, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy this a little bit more math than what I'm usually doing on the channel. Don't call me Seb Heslo quite yet, but if you enjoyed today's video, Give it one of these and I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Where are my GPU miners at? I'd like to introduce you to hobbyistminers.store. Who can turn down a high quality t-shirt with your favorite NVIDIA graphics cards in a simplistic design? The spring 2023 collection just dropped a few weeks ago with 17 brand new limited edition designs. What makes them limited edition? Well, every three months, a brand new collection is released and their previous one is decommissioned forever it'll never be sold again stop on over and check out your favorite gpu mining t-shirts at hobbyistminers.store today